Hello, this presentation is about ATAM. ATAM is a method for evaluating architecture Uh, the background of ATA is, ATA is from uh, the American Department of Defense. They saw that projects sometimes failed even when they have a good development process. When they analyzed this, they found that the problems could be tracked back to the architecture and the non-functional requirements that was established quite early in the development of the new product. So they thought they needed a method to discover and avoid this the problems in the project. So then they developed the SUM and the ATA methods. SUM was the first version of this, and ATA is the second one. If you look at the picture below, you will see sort of the, the correspondence of this in a house building. If you have a house as the below, and then people want to rebuild this in different directions, there is bound to be problems. This is also a little bit the the situation that we are facing with software architecture. It is not that easy to see. So ATAM is a way to evaluate what is possible to do with an architecture, what is good with it, what is bad with it, and what we can expect from it. So the purpose of ATAM is to assess the consequences of architectural decision alternatives in light of the quality attributes, attribute requirements. So safety, performance, all the other abilities that are actually the, those things that are determining the architectures. And the realization is that all these signs involve trade-offs between these requirements that we have. And we need to understand these trade-offs so we know what, we, what choices we have made and what consequences they have. So what Atom is and is not, we want to find trends, correlation between the decisions and the prediction of the system quality. It does not provide a precise analysis. The purpose is to discover risk created by the architecture decisions. Atom does not focus on solutions, and Atom does not document the, uh, the architecture, but it can be used to input for documentation. So there is a source material here. Uh, there is a book, but there is also uh, 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 SEI or CMU report that you can download for free, which contains more or less the same material. Book is better, but uh, bigger, but uh, what is it? Downloadable report is a good start. And what we will do in the pres this presentation is to go through the ATAM process and also explain a little bit about our experiences in this. One of the major things that we find when we do this is that this brings together different aspects or different roles in the organization to really understand what the architecture is, what choices they've made, and what the consequences of these choices are. Those things are usually very much hidden in the organization. Maybe it says in the head of some of the architects, marketing doesn't know about this. So we end up with a picture in the beginning where people think, have built a very simple house and then they have very big ambitions on this house or this architecture that it will do things that will be very hard to achieve. And ATAM is there as a process or a method to try to help to bring out this in the, in the light, and hopefully early so that we can take the right decisions when we still have time for that. So I hope you will enjoy this presentation where I will go through this. And see you in Stockholm. <laughs>